Reporting from Gencon 2018, I'm here at the booth of Pegasus Spiel, where Peter has agreed to tell us a little bit about Talisman Legendary Tales. This is the first game by Pegasus set in the world of Talisman, and it is a cooperative fantasy game. So I'm very excited because I like Talisman, I like cooperative games, and finally it looks like there is a way of playing a game based on Talisman in which you don't have to destroy everybody, you can work with them. That's the point, it's a total different game. Uh, you, you all know the, the original Talisman game which was released in the 80s and this is the first game of a new series of games based in the Talisman universe. We will do uh, under license uh, with Games Workshop. Uh, we released it here at the Gen Con in uh, 2018 and there will be more games to come next year. A role-playing game uh, for yeah, starter it will be in light system with easy mechanics, uh, easy to play the role-playing game and there will be an expandable card game I think also next year at the Gen Con and there will be a dice game I hope in 2020 and then we will see. We are very excited because this is a famous brand I think everybody, every fantasy gamer knows uh, the original Talisman game and we all played it when we were younger so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are very excited at Pegasus Spieler to have this uh, in, in, in stock now. And as you mentioned before, it is a cooperative game and basically it's a family game. So you can play it with a family, with kids, I think age 8 plus. Mm -hmm. We had to write down 14, but it is basically a family game. Uh -huh. yeah. And the board already, well, looks very different from what you expect from a talisman game. So can you tell us about how it plays, the main concepts, yeah. how it works? Main thing is you have adventures you can play. This is one adventure. There are oh, five so it's scenario based. You have it's scenario based. Mm -hmm. There are five adventures included into the box, and you can play them in a row. So, if you start a new session of um, Talisman Legendary Tales, you will pick up the first adventure, and you can, then you can progress by advancing to other adventures. And each adventure consists of two chapters. Here's the adventure one, the Curse of the Fairies, chapter one. So the third thing you play is chapter one. You have a time token. I... You have a time token to yeah, keep track here. Yeah, we trust you. Sure yeah, you have to trust sure me that it's one. included. <laughs> it's in US production, so it uh -huh. will be included. And you can choose the level of difficulty by starting here, here, or here. And if the time tokens reaches um, this point, our players lose the game. And if you solve the first task, which is shown here, you have to find, collect some herbs because the alchemist wants to brew something to rescue the fairies which are cursed. Mm -hmm. If you do this, you flip this over and then you play the second chapter. But you have to keep in mind where you, your time track is. Because oh, I see. if you end chapter one at stage seven, you will start at stage oh, seven nice. the second chapter. So hurry up. And yeah, basically what what do you have to do or what can you do? You can first choose a character. We have warriors, dwarves, uh, wizards, elves, prophets, trolls. And this is a promotion. Some character. of your iconic talisman characters just with a more family friendly art. Yes, yes, of course. So I told you it's a family game, so we used. Um, I think the illustration has a style of the 80s in a modern way. Yeah. You recognize Talisman, but it's a new illustration and a fresh illustration, and I like it really much. So you can choose your characters, each has a unique ability, and this is what a character is. Huh. A bag. No, not really. Yeah. His powers and abilities are inside the bag. There are seven starting tokens, uh -huh. which represents his abilities to fight and to do things. And you know, for sure. Here there are seven tokens for the start and you can see how many combat related tokens, how many magic related tokens, how many tokens which keep the time track moving, which isn't good at all, and how many um, tokens you can draw from other players, mm -hmm. bags, which can be very strategic. Yeah? Yeah. And you have special abilities. And what you do is you travel around by rolling a dice, can move as many spaces. Or you can teleport yeah, to, do you to a place. You have to move that many spaces, or can you move up to up that to, many up to uh -huh. spaces? You can move through other characters. You can move through the adventure tokens when they are face down, when they are face up. You have a look. Oh, 
that's not what I want to tell to show you. Yeah, when they are face down, face up, you have to stop move your movement and you mm -hmm. have an encounter. And encountering is very With easy. With a tiny dragon, yeah, for example. It's a tiny Aww, dragon. It's tiny. You show it's something you. different. We have here. We got a servant of darkness. darkness or giant spider. And for example, or the herbs. Yeah, yeah that we were that's looking what for, you right? to have yeah. in the first chapter. And when you end your movement here at this place, you can start a fight. That's very easy. I need a troll because I moved the troll at this space. You. Each time you have an encounter, you draw three tokens out of the bag. Okay, this means you have to move the time track uh -huh. one space forward. That's not good at all. I have one sword symbol, which is enough to beat the tiny dragon, because I have a matching symbol. Uh -huh. And I can, I can draw another token out of my bag, or out of the bag of another hero. Uh -huh. Does the hero need to be in the same space or no, can it be no, anywhere? No, no. So I don't have enough tokens for beating the giant spider. That's a pity, so I can't beat him. But the tiny dragon is gone. And what can I do now? Of course, in each fantasy role playing game, after defeating the enemies, you will have the loot. Yeah. And I can draw a loot token out of this bag. Oh. Uh, where is it? They put the. Ah. Let me wait, where the loot, the loot? I put the druid inside, that's not right. That looks like there's only loot yeah, and no is. characters attached. Thank you. Um, it's in the video. You got the, uh, uh, oh, I have an helmet. So, this yeah. helmet counts as a magic symbol for uh -huh. beating monsters with this symbol. And it negates... Nice. An hourglass I have drawn in the same round. And now we can decide together because it's a, a cooperative game. Um, which character or which player will get the reward. And then he put it directly into his back. Okay. So he can improve his back and his abilities and his nice. powers. Yeah. So it's a, um, yeah, the, the main mechanics are a back building system where you can improve your back. Nice. Yeah. nice. And like the tokens you've drawn in one combat will stay there, face uh, uh, up. And before a new combat starts, you can decide to put all tokens back into your back or nothing. I can't pay, I will only take one token back into a bag. All or nothing, that's it. So you have uh -huh. to think about it, you can, at each time during the play, you can have a look what's left inside your bag. Ah, I have this, this and this, it's okay. I think I can start a fight with that, so I don't have to put them back. Uh -huh. Because if there are many hourglasses outside, I won't put them back because yeah. I can draw them again, so I will keep them here for the moment. Nice, I like the strategy that comes from that. The pusher luck, optimization. Yeah, nice. Yes, that's it. And that are the base mechanics of the game. And for each adventure you, you play, you have new uh, uh, enemies. For the first adventure you play with a blue um, adventure tokens and there will be others with new monsters and mm -hmm. new tasks to solve. Yeah, just to give a sense, there is in fact a lot of stuff yes. in the yes. box. Yes. And when is the game available? already um, or when will it be available I think it will be I would go to the um, retail stores next week so Excellent. very soon yeah very soon thank you Peter for telling us about talisman legendary tales by Pegasus Spiel you're welcome thank you